The Mandeville police captain killed in the line of duty last week will be laid to rest this Friday. As the community prepares to remember Vincent Liberto Jr., this evening he was honored in the U.S. Senate. As I knew him, best describe him as a gentle giant, polite and upbeat, reasonable and fair-minded, all qualities that made a great police officer. Captain Liberto was survived by his wife, Tracy, and seven children. He was 58 years old. His passion for service was so strong, he inspired several of his children to follow in their dad's footsteps by entering the military and law enforcement. Captain Liberto's death is a painful reminder that our law enforcement officers put their lives on the line to keep our community safe. During his speech on the U.S. Senate floor, Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana also highlighted Captain Liberto's military career and time with the Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office. The 21-year-old Covington man accused of shooting Captain Liberto and a second officer has a bond hearing tomorrow. Yeah, Mark Spicer is being held on a first-degree murder charge. Rob Masson reports. He was a 25-year veteran of the Mandeville Police Department, and as memorials grow at the scene of Captain Vincent Liberto's death, Mandeville's police chief struggles to move on. I've known him uh, my entire adult life uh, as a Marine, as a police officer, uh, and as a friend. Liberto was pronounced dead Friday afternoon after a police chase went horribly wrong. 21-year-old Mark Spicer is accused of fatally shooting Liberto following a chase which began in Old Mandeville. The initial stop was for no license plate. Liberto was in the office when the call went out about a chase initiated by fellow officer Benjamin Cato. Captain Liberto was at his desk that day and uh, his radio, when his, when his radio fired up and an officer asked for help, he jumped up. Liberto and Cato were shot at highways 22 and 190 where the chase came to an end and longtime co-workers struggled. My first interaction uh, with Captain Liberto was uh, just as it was his, his, the last day of his life, let's go get it. Uh, let's go out here, let's do what we got to do. At all costs, let's get the bad guy. Former Mandeville Police Chief Rick Richard was Captain Liberto's supervisor for six years. He says Liberto was someone that anyone, he and fellow officers, could always turn to in a tough situation. Vince was so dedicated to this department, and, and first and foremost, he was a family man. But secondly, he cared about this department and this community. And he saw the need for things to happen, and he took that upon himself to, to make those happen as best he could. Liberto leaves behind a wife, Tracy, and seven children. Five of them are now men, and all are involved in either law enforcement or the military. We've lost a great officer, a great family man, um, a friend. Officer Cato returned to desk duty at the Mandeville Police Station today after suffering a graze wound to the face. We were this far from burying another police officer. And we were very fortunate. Meantime, accolades for a fallen officer continue to pour in. From the North Shore, Rob Masson, Fox 8 Local First. Funeral services for Captain Vincent Liberto Jr. will be held uh, this Friday at the Castine Center. Public visitation starts at 9 a.m. with a funeral starting at noon. A police procession will then guide the casket to St. Lazarus of uh, Bethany Memorial Garden, where Liberto will be interred.